So a lot of people are wondering, how do you get the most mad or the most ferocity possible? What's the best way to do it? All that stuff. How do you get the most ferocity possible using the setup currently and when the nether update drops? If you guys know today's video, subscribe. It would truly mean the world to me. Comment banana, I guess. Who knows, right? So ferocity is such a big part. It's so, so nice. And currently, if I hold out some setup, I can get around like 200 ferocity. If I kill a mob, I can get around 200 ferocity, which is honestly not bad, right? So if I kill that mob, I have 200 ferocity, which means I triple strike. And if I didn't one-shot this guy, I'd be hitting him three times for 180k. There's only one armor set that gives base ferocity in the game currently, and that is werewolf armor. Werewolf armor gives 10 ferocity base. It's relatively cheap armor comparatively, especially considering it's the best. Now for the pet, what are you looking for? There's only really one right answer, that is Tiger Pet. Tiger Pet gives you 25 ferocity base at level 100 and increases your ferocity by 30%. Now for weapon, there is really one good weapon, and that is going to be the Valkyrie. Any of the like Hyperion, Valkyrie, Scylla all give ferocity. A dirty Valkyrie will give 75. If you equip it with Vicious 5, which adds an additional 5 ferocity, it will get bumped up to 80. Now, what happens if you don't have as good enough gear or enough money to want to buy or to buy a Valk? You can still get some ferocity, it's just not nearly as good. You can buy an item called the Shredder. The Shredder gives you 50 ferocity base, and then you just have it and it gives you 50 ferocity, which isn't bad, but doesn't scale inside of dungeons. You can't reforge it, you can't do whatever it is to make it actually good, but it is a lot cheaper option than a Valk, obviously. Now, what pet item do we want to use to get as much frosty as possible? There is two options. You can either use something called a Reaper Gem or the Minus Relic. Reaper Gem gives you 8 ferocity for 5 seconds on kill. This does not stack, so if I kill a mob, I then get 8 ferocity for 5 seconds. If I kill another one, it doesn't stack up. But I can just continuously gain 8 ferocity, which is super, super nice. Or you can use something called the Minus Relic, which costs 30 million coins and increases all pet stats by 33% which would boost the total frosty you get from the pet from 25 to like 33, which is still pretty good. However, in my opinion, I think Reaper Gem is just a little bit better. Now, there's still some other stuff we can do to get as much frosty as possible, including cakes, candies, and mixins. Now, cakes, if you visit Portal Hub or any one place that has a cake, there's a frosty cake that you can eat, and it gives you two ferocity. Next thing you can do is chug Jerry Candies. It'll give you 100 health, 20 strength. It'll give you a bunch of good stats, but it'll only last for 20 minutes. There's also another way called Zombie Brain Mixins, now you do have to be the Slayer level to use this. This does not work inside dungeons, but I'm going to be comparing this outside, so it's super nice. You can use the Zombie Brain Mixin to gain 10 Frosty, you can combine this with the God Pot, but that's 10 extra Frosty, so a total of 14 from the extra buffs. There's still some more things we can do to get more Frosty, there's actually two of them. First one is going to be the Blood Chalice. Blood Chalice, you need Enderman Slayer 5, and it costs 1 slow flow per 5 seconds in combat, and you gain 20 Frosty. It's 20 Frosty for Talisman, that's actually so, so good. And that's all we can do in the game currently, except for the multiplicative buffs to get just pure Frosty. However, when the Nether update drops, there's a few things that will get changed. For one, Starring. Starring will actually become useful to items outside of dungeons. When the Nether update drops, all stars will give an ad additional percent stat buff when outside of dungeons. It's 2% per star. So if you have a 5 star weapon, then it's an additional 10% stat buff, which is super good, especially because this works on Valkyrie and the armor set, which can give you an additional 12 ferocity, 8 from the actual weapon, and 4 from the armor. But also, during the new alpha update, there is a bunch of new things. Number one, new things called belts and gauntlets. Belts and gauntlets, these are like additional things you can equip. If I go to my profile, as we can see, I have a cloak, a necklace, gloves, bracelet, belt, I have all this stuff, right? You can use the Flaming Fist, which is used by killing Barbarian Duke and I believe Fire Bats to get the flames, and you get 5 Ferocity in addition to all that other stuff, which is super, super nice. And the other thing you can get is going to be a Derillium Necklace, to give you plus 1 of a lot of stat buffs, which is super nice, meaning 6 additional Ferocity from belts in a new another update. Now there's two other things that we can do to get an absurdly high number. First one is going to be armor reforges. If we equip two armor reforges, we can absolutely skyrocket our frosty. And the two things you can use to do that is Legion and Renowned. Renowned is dropped from the Dragon Horn and it gives you plus 1% stats on stats. This includes frosty, so it's 4% extra ferocity. And last and definitely not least, we have Legion. Legion, if you're around 20 other players with max Legion 5, 
it becomes a 28% stat boost if you have Legion 5 on every single piece of armor. With this current setup, you can get around 250 in Frosty with none of the multiplicative buffs if you have all the stuff maxed out. With the multiplicative buffs, though, it can go up a lot higher, up to around 350 Ferocity. However, there is still one last important thing. Has not been confirmed yet, but if it is, it is going to be so, so huge. This is a new enchant that is going to be supposedly added with a new nether update called Fatal Tempo. What Fatal Tempo does is you can put it on a weapon or any of the like damaging stuffs, and every time you hit it, it will gain te plus 10% ferocity per level. So if it's tier 5, you're gaining plus 50% ferocity per level, capped at 200%. This means it triples your ferocity. So if we add this into the math, this is going to be around 800 ferocity. And normally you just, uh, what is that? You strike nine times, meaning if you do 100k, and your guy over there is doing 800k, you're still out damaging him because you're doing nine hits, which is absolutely insane. So I hope this just kind of proves how strong Frosty is and what you can use for and all the different stuff. More of the story, use Werewolf with Tiger, make sure all of your stuff's right. Also, I forgot to add, an, add this into the buff as well because for Blood Chalice, but I did include Talisman Enrichments. It gives you 10 if you have maxed out Talismans. So you get 10 uh, Frosty with maxed out Talismans. So that's how I got all my numbers there. But point is, absolutely crazy. And you can potentially even put Master Stars on it and go even crazier. But it'll be really interesting in this new update to see how much Ferocity changes. And if it will still be so, so overpowered. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe. See you guys next one. Peace out.